Hey guys, myself Rakesh and in this video we are going to learn is it possible to modify an event which is there in my calendar. So here you can see I have a calendar event. I would like to make a lot of modifications. For example, I would like to move this calendar to a different date. Let's say I would like to move it to 29th date and time. I would like to change the title of this meeting to something else. And I would like to add some guests, right? So how this can be done? How can you modify a calendar event using the uh, Google Calendar API in UiPath? We are going to learn. So let's get started. Okay, let's see how this can be designed. Now the very first thing uh, and the very important thing is that you should first configure the G Suite application scope. In case you are uh, you are one of uh, in case you have why you are watching this video for the very first time you must see there are two videos on my channel automate with rakesh api setup for google workspace and api gmail send email okay these are the two emails uh, two uh, videos that you must watch that's where you should continue to this video so let's get started and see how this one works okay in case you have already watched my videos and you have already configured the G Suite application scope, let's get started. Now here, because in this situation, I have an event called test, right? So for this event, I would like to change it. So what I will do, I will use something called search event activity. Okay, now in the search event activity, I will simply say test, the name of the event. Okay, so it is going to search in my calendar if the calendar event is there. The moment it finds it, right, I will use, I need to modify that event. All right, I need to modify the event. So how do you modify the event? You need the event ID. So in the previous videos, I have already taught this, uh, the output of the search event. So let's go to the property. I did not set the output, you know, create a variable here. Let's say I'm going to create a variable called events. And this is a array variable events is a array kind of a variable search event see it's an array kind of a variable now here what i want to do i would like to add the event id so to do that i will simply take the variable name which is events and then because array i will go to the first element of that array which is the you know which will be in our case this will be the test event ID uh, for the calendar event. So here if you put a dot and say ID, it's going to pull the ID of the event that I see on my calendar now, which is the test, right? If you have multiple events, then there is a different thought process. There is a different logic that we need to apply. Let's go with simple one. So here, let's say there are two uh, events with test, 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 like three, four events. So how do you really know, hey, this is the event I need to do it, okay? There's, there is again a complex situation which we can design. But here, let's understand how it is working, okay? That is the intention. Here, let's say I would like to add some attendees. Let's say I would like to add someone called C uh, dot uh, C at the rate C test uh, one, two, three dot com. There, there, this is just, an, you know, I'm just ty typing randomly. Uh, so let's say I'm going to add uh, uh, one of the attendee called uh, C at the rate test dot com. So what happened? Why there is an error? cannot be converted to one dimensional array so okay this is an array so let's keep it within the curly braces and double quote okay so this is fixed okay so let's say likewise comma and you can add multiple uh, different people let's say let me add few more uh, B dot b123 test.com okay likewise you can continue to add as many attendees that you want and um, i would like to modify the title let's say i would like to say this as test123 hmm? and then uh, description i would say uh, hello something like that i'm just putting some random uh, text inside this okay this is done see while you are doing this th there are high chances you might get a 403 error i will tell you how do you fix that but let me first run and show you 
So the moment I run it, what is going to happen? It's supposed to come to my calendar. Search if there is any event with that specified name. Now with if they, see it is asking for a permission. So let me use my account. And here I'm saying continue. And then UiPath wants uh, access to your Google account. Select what UiPath can access. View and edit events on all your calendars. Okay, and it on continue. All right, so you should do it within. So what is what is happening? I got a four not three error. So why this four not three? I have given edit access, right? Okay, and if you read this, it's saying request had insufficient authentication scopes. It's talk. It is talking about scopes. So how do you fix this scope? Okay, let me tell you. So how do you fix the scope? It's not about there. There is a there is something called in the G Suite application scopes. There is something called configure scope. Okay, click on this. Click on on this. There are multiple different links you would find automatically it will populate. Automatically, this is going to fetch from console.google. From Google, it's get you know automatically uh, get updated. If you do auto detect. Okay, what happens? It will see which is the appropriate one that should get selected. Okay, so I did a auto detect and let me click on OK. So it will select which API link it should use to really, you know, change your event or modify your event. Okay, let's see that if it is working. So let me run it again. Okay, okay, okay. So the automation have started. See, still it is giving 403. I did an auto detect. It has detected. Then why this error? Okay, let me tell you. Click on OK. So how do I fix this? All right. To fix this, go to configure scopes. And here there is a parent one. If you see www.googleapis.com auth slash calendar. I mean this is going to allow everything. Okay. With the calendar, it will return Gmail. That means this is the parent one. So instead of selecting the child API links, I am going to select the parent link. So that means you are giving full permission. Okay. So here I am going to select the scope as complete calendar. Click on OK. Now let's run it. Now you see there is a difference in the consent page which is going to appear on my screen. Okay. So the automation I have started. So you can you can see it has opened the consent screen. I am going to select my account and hit on continue. And here, if you see, select what UiPath can access, and these are the default ones. Here, if you see, the dialog has slightly changed. What is the dialog? See, edit, share, and permanently delete all the calendars you can access using Google. This is a higher permission you are giving. Okay, so check this and hit on continue. So when I do this, what's going to happen? Uh, invalid attendee email, Google uh, invalid attendee. So it has checked the uh, the email attendee email is invalid. Okay, let me click on OK. Let's see uh, what is wrong with the so that 403 error is gone. Okay, it does it is not coming. Uh, let me try this. Maybe I'm entering different different. Uh, test at the rate test.com and um, it has to be within the curly braces and then I'll go to the property of this activity and I will select uh, send update okay it should not if there is somebody who is using that ID should not send it so I'm saying none let's say so it is not going to send any so let me try again It might ask for the consent page or it may not. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, so now you can see it has, uh, I think, something wrong the way I've written the uh, attendees. So this is done. Okay, so now uh, what I'm trying to do here, let's go to the calendar and just see and refresh this. And let's see if it has 
uh, added the attendees into this test test.com okay it has added similar way if you would like to change the uh, date let's say i would like to change the date so you can see the title also has changed to test one two three from test now let's say i would like to change it so if i would like to change it so search is using the string test okay if any event contains test it's not exactly ex it's not about talking about exact match but contains so here what i wanted to do let's say i would like to change the uh i would like to reschedule it to some other time let's say i would like to reschedule it to uh, 10 30 hit on come out of this it'll automatically selected and automatically give you the format and now i want to make it to 29th okay the same thing uh, i would say 11 10 30 am to 11 and it should be again 29th clear so these two things have been entered now if i run this once again so we had given consent so it is going it, uh, it remembers so maybe uh, tomorrow when you run it might ask you again so google would keep on authentic just to check if you are the right person to do uh, do it or not so now it has run now you can see from here from 28th it has moved to 29 and it has done its job getting it so this is how you can modify the google calendar in uipath i hope this would have given a lot of ideas on how this is working all right so if you in case you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe right now please do subscribe and we are going to meet once again in the next content till then take care bye bye